we were just uh, talking about the dimensional and similitude techniques that we use to develop a certain product. Uh, we show you an example here that, for example, a U.S. Navy ship, which is used in a destroyer fleet and is 100 meter long, which is substantially a long and a wide device, the real one, but for doing the practical designing and to be able to design it in a manner that it provides the optimum results, it's the experiments are carried out in a 100 meter long towing tank and where the ratio between the model tank and the model ship is 1 is to 46.6 of the real scale. So you can see that if there is a one meter long model, then the actual ship is actually 46.6 meters. So here, the model is only 3.048 meter long, on which the tests were carried out, and these tests were carried out in the University of Iowa. So obviously, university laboratories are the center of experimentation of doing these kinds of things and before they produce the final product. So everything, quite vigorous tests are carried out in the laboratory and everything, the material that is used, the shape that is done, the facilities that is provided, the movement of the motion and action of the forces that takes place between different things. In this case, the ship itself, and let's say if there is a sea water, then they have to see how the waves of the sea will affect the movement of the ship, the forces that will be generated, the motion that will be generated, and how the ship will withstand all that and then do its job, the job of being a destroyed ship to attack the opponent's army. This is just for example, a real example that has been shown to you and that how these things are carried out. And uh, this thing helps us to develop a better understanding of dimensions, the units, the dimensional homogeneity of equations, the understand, and we try to understand the numerous benefits of dimensional uh, analysis. And in, in addition, we try to also know how to use the method of repeating variables to identify non-dimensional parameters and also to understand the concept of dynamic, uh, dynamic similarity and how to apply it to experimental modeling. So by doing all these things in a laboratory scale and using the uh, similitude and dimensional analysis, these are the objects that we try to achieve and learn how to, uh, how to work with these parameters and how to design the methodology so that they are successful. And in fact, the, the experience has shown that they are successful.